everybody, today we are going to learn a new letter and we are going to learn the letter H. So if you want to do it with me you can, you need something to write with and something to write on, a pen and a paper or a whiteboard marker and a whiteboard or chalk on your chalkboard but if you don't want to that's fine you can just listen. So the f this is how we write the letter H. You start at the top, you go down and up. Big jump. As you can see, this letter has a long neck. So the name of this letter is H, but we call it a H. Now, we're not in class, so we can't do this letter like we normally do. So I'm going to show you two objects, and you must tell me which one starts with the letter H, and then I will draw that one on the board for us. Okay, so the first two words, first two items. The first one is a ball and a hammer. Which one starts with the letter H? Huh. The hammer, that's right. Let's see if we can draw a hammer. It's got a handle, which is also the letter H. Huh. It's got a handle. And it's got a square piece in the front. It's got a funny little triangle piece at the back. So there's our letter. Our first word, H. Huh. Okay, then the next one. We have a hanger and we have an army man. Which one do you think starts with a H? Huh? That's right, the hanger. Good job. So, hanger's pretty easy. Oh, and we can make shadows here also. So we have a handle at the top as well. And it's a big triangle shape. And a straight piece at the bottom. And this one has a funny cut on the end. I'm going to leave that. We don't need that part, but we can put this part in the middle. There we go. And there's our hanger. Right. Then the next two, we have a horse and we have plasters. Which one do you think starts with a hair? Plasters? No, it's a horse. Or well, you guys can ask the Dino's teacher, Tammy's not very good at drawing horse, but this one looks easy, so I think I'm going to try. Let's try. We'll have a red horse. He's got a body, he's got a leg, and another leg. We're just drawing him from the side. Uh-oh. This is going to be a funny looking horse. Oh dear. Oh dear. You see why? I'm sure all the dinos are laughing now because they know teacher Tony can't draw this. So my horse looks a little bit like a dinosaur, but maybe you guys can try and draw a horse a little bit better than me. <laughs> okay. Then we have a heart and a lunchbox. Which one do you think starts with a heart? That's right, a heart. That's an easy one. And let's draw a nice big purple heart. There we go. Okay, let's see what else we have. We have some earphones and we have oh, a very heavy house. Earphones or a house. That's right, a house. Well, we can draw lots of different houses, but I'm just going to draw an easy one. Let's draw it here at the bottom. A nice big house. Oh, with a skew roof, that's okay. And we have a door. And we have some windows. Ta da! Here's my house. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Okay, and then we have. Oh, this is very exciting. We have a hot cross bun and a torch. Which one do you think starts with a H? The delicious hot cross bun. Mmm. That looks like an easy one to draw. Oh, we've used all the colors. That's okay. So it's a little bit like a funny circle. Not quite a circle. And it's got a big cross in the middle. And that's a delicious hot cross bun. Mm. Okay, and then 
These are the last two objects I have. We have a bottle and a hairdryer. Which one do you think starts with the her? The hairdryer, that's right. Let's put that there. Got a nice big hairdryer. It also has a handle, and handle also starts with a her. There's lots of her words. It's got a big part at the back. It's a very funny looking hairdryer. There's some buttons. Button and another button, and there's the cord, and mine has some funny lines on it. And there's my hair dryer. Now, there are some other words we can think of. We have two things on our body that we use every day those are our hands. If you're drawing with me, you can put your hand down and trace your hand, or you can try and draw one. It's okay. And how many fingers have we got? Let's try one, two, three, four, five, five fingers. That's right. And anything else anybody can think of? Oh, what do you wear on your head? Oh, that's a her word, head. What do you wear on your head when we go outside in the sun? Teacher Michelle and I always say, don't forget to put on your hats. That's right. Big hat, maybe like a sombrero hat. It's a cool one. And head, let's draw head as well. Let's draw it here in the middle. You can draw head. So it's not the face, this is the head. Oh, and another thing that's on top of your head is some hair. This person has spiky hair. Can you see my cat walking past? <laughs> There's some hair. Oh, but a head starts with her and the hair. So that's our her word. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.